Good morning. Get inspired, Ms. Shiana. This is Diane Bennett with Remax 100 and Inspired Homes. And our guest today for Life Inspired is Emily Dybul with Inspired Homes. Thanks for coming. I'm glad I could be here. Absolutely. We're so glad to have you. So if you guys can remember, every Friday when we do this on Friday mornings, Life Inspired is stories that are changed. So life was going along and then dot, 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 God intervened and did something and now your life is inspired. And so Emily's got some great stuff that she's going to share with us. So if you can tell us a little bit about what's your first part of the story, what's your life part that life was going along that um, something's changed later? Well, the first part of the story is I used to work as a sign language interpreter. Mm -hmm. And so um, that was my career, my passion, and that was my life. It was my professional, my profession. It was what I was planning to do for the rest of my life. And you had gotten your four-year college degree to do mm -hmm. that, and, and you'd been doing it for two years. So then... Dot, dot, dot. What happened to you that you're not interpreting anymore? One day, I um, finished up work and my hands were hurting and they didn't stop. So it turned out that um, I got a repetitive motion injury so that um, my hands get inflamed every time I use them too much. My ligaments get inflamed and so that causes pain so I can no longer interpret and it is something that affects me with like the daily tasks eating, brushing my teeth, um, brushing my hair, straightening my hair, all that stuff. So everything that you do, even today, mm -hmm. not just not just when you did it back then, but it didn't happen mm -hmm. all your life, you never had problems nope. with your hands, thought you were gonna be a sign language interpreter, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden you discovered this probably from doing sign language so much? I think that's um, what the instigator was. Like I, I call it a time bomb because I know that it was probably gonna happen eventually, but I mean, I had no idea until it started hurting one day. And I was really confused because God had told me to work as a sign language interpreter and called me to go to Bethel. And so it was kind of, it was a very big disruption in my life. And so you got really blue. Yes. So tell us about that. So um, I had to move back home, have my family help take care of me because, I mean, I'm having trouble doing just daily tasks, right? I didn't know what my future would look like. Because, um, you know, what, what can you do without the use of your thumbs? These are um, medical splints that I wear to help me um, reduce pain every day. Um, and so I got to a point where I was thinking and I was talking to the Lord when I'm going, what, like, what the heck? <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened here? And um, I realized that I had two options. I could go down this one path and say, you know what, God, I don't trust you anymore. Like, you did this to me. I'm done. Or I could go down this other path and say, I don't understand you, God, but I'm going to seek you more. And um, that's what I did. I read a lot of books. I read a lot of the Bible. And I have come to the determination that God is good um, <laughs> no matter what. So tell us how, I mean, what stuff did you study that made you realize that he is good and that because he loves you, he's not trying to slam you or do a bad thing by letting this come out. What, what did you find out? How did you find out that he's good? Why do you believe that? Um, I read, um, first of all, I had like elongated quiet times, like an hour of just looking in different places of scripture um, and asking the Holy Spirit to guide me in the text as well to, for new understanding. So then I'm developing that relationship with him um, while I was also reading several books um, a couple like When Life is Hard by James McDonald. Um, that was a really good one, by the way, for going through a hard time. He um, really brings in scripture and he gets it. He's been there. So um, there were several books like that that had a big impact. And so, um, and so now what do you feel like God's, what's, what, what does life have in store for you? Right now it's the unknown. Um, right after I kind of figured out after a year of not knowing what I was going to do because of my hands, God called me to the missions field for uh, about a year and a half. And I have a real passion for Japanese people, so I'm hoping to someday be able to serve them. Very cool. So, yeah, so now you've been missions, and you worked a little bit at um, the Mishawaka Library, and then we got you from there. Mm -hmm. And now she's inspired because she works at Inspired, and we're so grateful. Um, so we love all the stuff that you bring to the table. but. Um, I'm just really proud of you. I love how you have great perspective and um, really battled that 
no, I'm not going to choose that path that there is no God and that God is was bad to me or mean to me because I went through something right, rough. You decided, I'm going to just plug into him more and pursue him more, and and you have great peace over that, don't you? Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. So we love the spirit of this young lady that works in our office. It's just really awesome, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. So if you guys have some inspired short stories to share with us, um, please message us here. Um, share this story if you know somebody that's been going through depression. Um, really what helped Emily get out of depression was digging into the Bible. Um, I know personally from when I've gone through some times that reading the Psalms is very, very comforting. The, the Psalms is the middle section of the Bible, and it's um, kind of like neosporin ointment for your soul. Um, mm -hmm. It's just really healing to read the Psalms, mm -hmm. I find. And They're very honest of what life is like, but remembering who God is. Yeah, so very cool. So thanks so much for watching, and feel free to share it. And don't forget to message us here, because remember, at Inspired, we're all about you.